The liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the one minute point in our countdown. T minus one minute and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water system is armed. T minus 55 second and the hydrogen igniters under the orbiter's engines have been armed. These devices are used to ensure any hydrogen uh, flowing through the engines prior to engine ignition does not accumulate. T minus 40 seconds and counting. We are just seconds away from switching command of the countdown to the onboard computers. T minus 30 seconds and counting. We are go for auto sequence start. The hydraulic power units on the SRBs have started. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We are go for main engine ignition. Seven, six. We have main engine ignition. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the Orbiter Challenger and the sixth flight of the space shuttle. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Challenger is under holding radar. Houston copies, Challenger. Seconds elapsed. Throttles on all three main engines coming down to 81 percent. Velocity 2,000 feet per second. Altitude three and a half miles. Downrange two miles. One minute elapsed. Main engine throttle is going back to 104%. Challenger is go at throttle up. Challenger, you're go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. Trajectory slightly depressed, no problem. Flight dynamics officer uh, reports. Challenger Houston, uh, we see you're, de you're slightly depressed, no problem. Okay, Dick. Velocity 4,100 feet per second. Altitude 15 miles, downrange 14 miles. Velocity 5,100 feet per second. 20 miles in altitude, uh, downrange 22 nautical miles. Standing back for solid rocket booster separation. SRB-7 was at some. We got an awful lot of crud on the windows at SRB-7, Dick. Roger, we copy that. Challenger, your first day's performance was nominal. Guidance has converged, velocity now 6,000 feet per second, altitude uh, 31 miles, Challenger's 46 miles downrange. Challenger, you have two-engine tail capability. Two-engine tail. Challenger now capable of a transatlantic abort to Dakar Airport on Africa's west coast if one main engine fails. Three minutes elapsed time, velocity 6,800 feet per second, altitude 39 miles, Challenger 70 miles downrange. All three main engines still at 104%. Challengers go at three minutes, 15 seconds. Flight Director Jay Green taking a status check at all positions prior to Challenger reaching negative return point. He's 7,800 feet per second, 47 miles altitude.
Challenger, your negative return. Press negative return. Challenger no longer able to return to the Kennedy Space Center. Challenger is 127 miles downrange at an altitude of 50 nautical miles, velocity 8,700 feet per second. Four minutes, 25 seconds elapsed. Velocity 9,500 feet per second. Altitudes 53 and a half miles, 165 miles downrange. Challenger still go, all systems. All three main engines still at 104%. Velocity 10,400 feet per second. Altitude 55 miles, downrange 196 nautical miles. Standing by for Press D'Amico. Challenger, Press D'Amico. Press D'Amico, normal throttle. That Press to main engine cutoff call tells spacecraft commander Paul Weitz that Challenger can now continue uphill if one main engine failed. positions. All controllers reporting everything looks great. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Challenger, you have single engine tail capability. Single engine tail. Challenger now capable of reaching the car airport if two main engines fail. Velocity 13,900 feet per second, altitudes 58 nautical miles, downrange 321 nautical miles. Time for main engine cutoff computed for 8 minutes 20 seconds. Velocity 15,000 feet per second, altitudes 58 nautical miles, downrange 364 nautical miles. Six and a half minutes elapsed time. Velocity up to 17,000 feet per second. Still at 58 nautical miles. Challenger 433 nautical miles downrange. Seven minutes elapsed time. Challenger, your single engine press to Miko. Single engine press, thank you. That call tells the crew to press on even if two main engines shut down early. Challenger's velocity uh, nearing 20,000 feet per second. 529 miles downrange at an altitude of 58.1 nautical miles. Main engine cutoff still computed for 8 minutes, 20 seconds. Twenty-three thousand feet per second. Altitude's 58 and a half miles. Downrange 629 nautical miles. Eight minutes. Smash the alarm, Kevin Atmosphere Light, Houston. We copy. Cabin Atmosphere Master Alarm. Twenty-five thousand feet per second. We go. We got a Miko. Roger, we copy and no problem with your cabin atmosphere. Nominal Miko. 